Today, we will talk about how to collect customer information. Let's have a look at the details. Gathering data from your customers can give your insight into how they interact with your brand, which can help you understand how to market your business better. We have all the tips you need to make collecting and storing your customer information as easy and secure as possible. The first method is gathering biographical data. Collect the data your customers are already handing over. One simple way to mine data is to gather it when a customer makes an online order. You should be able to collect a name, address, email, and phone number from an online order. Ask for the information in person to connect with your customers. Start by creating a form for a mailing list, one that you will use to notify customers of specials and sales going on. Have the customers fill it out when they come into the store. Request information over the phone for convenience. When customers call in with a complaint or a question, you can ask for basic information. Use pre-order forms to encourage more people to give you information. If you have items that your customers can order before they come out, have them use a pre-order form. Take data from warranty cards to collect it inconspicuously. Once they've filled out the card, you have the information to use. Develop a rewards program. A rewards program gives your customers an incentive to come back, and they enjoy it because they get freebies. Plus, you can make it a requirement of the program to collect information from the customer. Collect a small amount of information at a time. If you ask for too much information at once, you're just going to annoy your customers. Move on to other demographics once customers trust you. Branch out to other types of biographical data only after you've gained your customer's trust. The second method is tracking customer behavior. Record transaction histories. Your customer's transactions provide you with some of the most beneficial information you can gather. Track customer movements on your site. You can collect information on what websites they link in from and how long they stay on each page on your site. Look at what pages encourage them to share information on social media and which ones motivate them to leave the site. Use a favorite, save, or rating system to judge what customers want. Create a way for users to save or favorite items. That way, you can see what items they're interested in even when they don't buy them right away. Track customer behavior on social media. It will help you establish which customers have the most followers and therefore, the most influence. Watch the customer's last login date to determine their activity level. Alternatively, track your customer's last purchase date. The idea is that you can establish which customers are active and which are dormant. The third method is developing satisfaction surveys. Use a simple satisfaction survey to track your net promotion score. Ask how they found out about you to improve marketing. A simple survey question about where your customers found out about your business can help you analyze how your marketing tactics are working. Request information on why customers chose you to better serve them. The fourth method is storing data. Use Customer Relationship Management CRM, software to store data. This software allows you to gather all the data you collect from customers in one place. Write a Customer Information Privacy Policy. This policy should state how you collect data, as well as how you plan to use it and if you plan to share it. You are legally required to create this document in the United States, and you should have this policy easily available on your website. Protect your data by using encryption. Keeping your customers' data safe is essential otherwise, your customers may decide you're not trustworthy and leave. Update biographical and satisfaction data regularly. Thanks for watching this video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel if you like our videos.